Okay, so if you're following along, go ahead and open up the quiz results practice file. And you can see that you have three uh, different scenes here. Now we're going to add a result slide for each of these scenes. So there's a quiz at the end of each of these. And by adding multiple quiz slides, you'll learn a couple uh, different options that you have for customizing the results as well as the different ways that you can um, aggregate those results. And then finally, we'll add a custom result slide that'll actually uh, calculate the total of all three quiz slides for the scenes. So let's go ahead and just get started by jumping into scene one. And it's just a simple slide with three buttons that go to different sections. If I look at section three, it's just a simple quiz. And there's three questions in that quiz. So we'll begin by adding a result slide for this first quiz. And we do that by going up to slides and results. And you have some options here for the different types of result slides. I'm just gonna choose the graded result slide and click insert. And what we have here is the result slide properties window. If I scroll down, you can see that I actually have access to all the quiz questions across all the, uh, the scenes. But because I inserted the result slide from that scene one over here, it assumes that that's the, the quiz I wanna use. And it's right, so it automatically selected all three. I don't have to choose all of them, I could just choose one quiz to make the result slide, but uh, in this case, I do wanna choose all three. And go ahead and click OK. And what you can see here is that Storyline created the result slide for us. So let's take a closer look at what Storyline put together for us. Now, the first thing you'll notice is that the slide is pretty basic, right? It doesn't have any of the custom slide design that we've already set up, but we can apply that. And there's just some text here for the score. There's, um, let me make this a little bit larger so we can see it. The results percent and points, which is just being included in a percent sign. So that's how we show our reference variables here. So this would actually be dynamically updated at the end of the quiz. We have an option to review the quiz. And if you look over here on the slide layers, you've got a success layer and a failure. Really the only thing that's on these by default is the, uh, the X and the text that says you didn't pass or the check mark that says, yeah, you did, congratulations. Let me jump back to result slide. First thing I wanna do is actually update this slide so it looks like the rest of the uh, scene of the course. And we can do that just by applying a custom a layout and we've already set these up if I right click the slide you can see that we have already set up for you custom result slides for each of the three scenes right here I have the results in blue which is the, the scene that we're working on so I'm going to apply it by clicking it and it already updates the uh, the background for us so we can customize this pretty much any way we want I'm going to select this blue line the default line and remove that and let's remove the Let's just move this review quiz button over. Okay, give it a little bit more room. But again, this is just like any other slide, so you really can customize this to look any way you want. Let's go ahead and just preview our scene to see how it looks. So preview the scene. And let's jump over to the quiz. And here's our first quiz slide, and it's asking us to make some decisions. I'll, I'll just choose one, click Submit. Got some feedback move on to the next quiz question, submit, incorrect, and we'll go with the correct one on this one. Okay, so when I continue, I'm actually gonna jump into my results slide. All right, so I have some information here on my results slide. I can see that I did not pass. There was a passing score of 80% or 24 points. I only got 66%, so I did not pass. I can also review the quiz. This is an option that you can enable or disable. If I review the quiz, I'm going to step through and I can see the choices uh, that I made. So I answered this one correctly, and, and that one was incorrect, and then the, finally uh, the second one, the third one was correct. So it's a way to uh, offer some feedback for the learners to review their quizzes. So let's go ahead and create result slides for the other scenes in our file. So close your preview, and let's jump to story view, and let's select scene two this time and insert a slide. Again, a result slide. And we choose graded results as well. So go ahead and click insert slide. And just like before, because we had selected scene two, Storyline assumes that these are the uh, questions from scene two that I want to use, and that's correct. So the other ones are not selected. I'm going to go ahead and click OK. 
And just like we did before, let's apply the layout, right? The uh, custom layout for this. And this is the time we want to use the green result slide. And we'll get rid of the blue bar. I'll just nudge this over a little bit. And let's add the final result slide for our scene three. So select scene three, go up to slides, results, graded. And let's just verify that all three questions are selected and they are. And we'll go ahead and insert it, apply the layout, right? We have one other layout right here, which is the, the red result slide. Get rid of that blue line and then we'll move over our button. Okay, so at this point we have result slides for each of our three scenes, right? These are all reporting the quiz scores individually for each scene, right? We have one here for the blue scene, scene one, a separate result slide for how the learner performs in scene two, and then finally the uh, red result slide for scene three. Now what we want to do is create another, a new result slide to report the learner's performance to a learning management system. So that final result slide will actually aggregate all three of these result slides into a single result slides, and then that score uh, can be reported and tracked in an LMS. Now for organizational purposes, let's just make a new scene. It makes a little bit more sense to do that than to try to put that in one of these other scenes. So go ahead and click the new scene icon. All right, so select the scene and we'll enter that final result slide like we did the others. So go up to slides, results, and graded result slide, click insert. And this time you can see the storyline didn't select any questions for us. And that's because there aren't any questions over here in scene four. But we could certainly go through and have ac because we have access to all the questions, we can just add and select the questions that we want to use. Now, you don't have to even select all the questions. Maybe the first question in each quiz is the one that you really wanted to track, or maybe it's the second one. Uh, you, you have access. You don't have to choose them all. You don't have to choose any from a scene, right? It's really whatever you want to use as that final result. Now, if you are going to select all of them, it makes a little bit more sense to use this separate, the second option up here under calculate results. So by default, we're being asked to select specific questions. But if you know that you want to track the entire result slide for each um, quiz, just go ahead and select the second option, and then you can quickly select the result slide. So it makes a little bit more sense if you're going to include all of the quiz questions. All right, so go ahead and click OK. And I'm just going to rename this to final quiz. Just make this a little bit easier when we're choosing this in the publishing options. And now if I jump back into story view, I've got a single result slide based on the aggregate of all three quiz slides in my scenes. And this is the one that we'll use to report to the LMS. All right, so when you're ready to publish your course, you need to determine what it is you want to push to your LMS. Do you want to track the quiz questions or do you want to track the result slides? It's really up to you and really just depends on what your needs are. So let's go ahead and walk through some of the publishing options. So go up to publish. And we'll come down here to LMS. And if you come down here to output options, you see you have some different LMS options for how you want to track. And then you also have some reporting and tracking options. So here's some basic course information about how you want to list it, how you want to identify. If you come over here to tracking, here's where you can set how you want to track and push the results to your LMS. Do you want to track the number of slides viewed, right? So what's the minimum number of slides? And this will uh, read the number of slides in your course. Or do you want to track using a quiz results? So we have the option to track any one of the scenes that we set up or that final result slide that we created that aggregates all three of these result slides. And again, it really doesn't matter which approach you want. It's really just based on your needs and the way your LMS is configured. But at the end, you're going to have a final quiz results that can track everything in your project. All right, so that's basically it. When you create quiz questions, you can track results for the specific questions throughout your course, or you can track results for one or more of the result slides in your course. All right, so go ahead, practice the activity. Um, if you have any questions, of course, always ask in the forums, and we'll be more than happy to help you out.